my nails are absolutely horrific, and so I've never been able to use my natural nails to play guitar. I found uh, after much experimentation and advice from many uh, that I ended up using ping pong balls, and I would cut them up and glue them under my nails, under, not on top, mm -hmm. because uh, for me, it would actually break my, my, the top of my nail because they're so weak and I couldn't handle the support. So you cut a ping pong ball. Yeah, I cut a ping pong okay. ball and then I would glue it underneath. And then I have all these things, how to layer it, like with silk wrap and some crazy glue and trying to maintain the regular part of the nail because that's the healthier part. I don't want to- uh, Mess that up. That up or I don't want to use the word suffocate, but you don't want to put anything that's going to not let it breathe for me. <clears throat> and um, so I would start to file those and this would work. And I was like, hey, ping pong balls are my, my way to go. And it had to be a specific time of ping pong ball because I found out that all of them didn't have the quality. They weren't hard enough. When you cut them up, they wouldn't glue. The glue would disintegrate. It goes into this whole <laughs> science, okay? Yeah. I had this ping pong thing going all the way up until about uh, two years ago. And uh, I found out that the, the table tennis industry was changing their product of their table tennis ball. And I thought I better try it out. And it turned out that uh, they went from a celluloid to a non-celluloid ball and it was horrible. I couldn't cut it. I couldn't make it work. Mm -hmm. It took forever. It wasn't glueable. I was freaking out. I called the company, you know, and so I said, how many do you have of the old balls? Because you're changing over. And they said, oh, we got our last shipment coming in. You know, it was like 10,000 balls. I said, okay. And so I sat down and I figured out how old I am and I had to estimate how many balls I need a, a month <laughs> and how long I would, if I lived how till I was 90, there? Oh, only about maximum 11 days. Okay. You have to do a new set over, right? For me, because your natural nail grows. And then if that breaks and you break your natural nail under it because of the weight, it's, it's a whole, sure. it's a whole thing. So I said, okay, I need about, you know, if I live till I'm 90 and I'm still playing, I need so many things. And so I bought like $1,500 worth of ping pong balls and they're in my apartment in this oh box. Oh my gosh. So get this. I finally ran out of my last set of ping pong balls, like that my one I've used since 1990, like the last ball. And I thought I'll go into the new supply and I open up the new supply and it's like, they won't glue. They're not adhering. Like cut up another one. They're not gluing. Hair dryer, hair dryer. Maybe too much humidity. They won't glue. I freak out. I call the company, and they're like, "The product hasn't changed." I'm like, "It had to have changed because we're talking. This is 2019. You know, you know. I the last one I had was 1993. The last ball I had something so changed in the product. So I frantically started looking around. I was like, "No career, because I I'm done." So you're right. The panic set in, and I found this gentleman. Um, guitarplayersnails.com or something like that. Give him a plug here. And he's done just tons of research on fake nails. And he was telling me that this would work. And his intention is you glue it on top. And I was really reluctant. And I tried. And the source of power comes from a different place. You know, when you're playing, it comes from here rather than under. And mm -hmm. I wasn't liking it and this and that. And, you know, I, I went through all things about, you know, different types of glues for the old ping pong balls. I even had the ping pong ball you know, uh, checked with chemists to see what the thickness and what it was made of. I mean, try to still use them. And anyhow, I end up using his, it's a, like a composite type of, of plastic. It's a fake, it's a fake nail that you would, they would use in salons. Um, and they come in clear and uh, like a coated different type. And then this guy said to me, why don't you just glue them under like you do your ping pong balls? I'm like, and they worked. And so that's what I do now. And I bought a bunch of, of these. And that's awesome. And that's what I have now. the solution. Oh, thank God. I was starting I'd to be panic like, for you. I was like, like, oh no. I'm going to have to change my career. <laughs> so anyhow, that's the story.